Let's talk about matrix multiplication, another operation that we can do on our matrices. This is particularly special because sometimes you can't multiply matrices. It's only valid if we take a look at the dimensions and the columns of our first matrix okay, is equal to the rows of our second matrix. Once that condition is filled, you know that those two matrices can be multiplied. And if they are, they yield another matrix with dimensions of the rows of the first matrix by the columns of the second matrix. That's why our resultant matrix here, C, is M by M. Just to illustrate this a little bit further and to solidify your understanding, here we have an M by N A multiplied by an M by N B. Now, we see that the columns of A is N and the rows of B is M. They're not the same, and so they can't be multiplied. That's why C here is a little bit sad. Now let's try actually multiplying A and B together. But first, let's take a look at their dimensions. So we know that they are both 2 by 2 matrices, meaning they both have 2 rows and 2 columns. So again, we know that because the columns of A and the rows of B are the same, we can multiply these two to yield a C with dimensions 2 by 2. Okay, now for the actual multiplication. So it's kind of like a pattern. Okay. If we want to take our element of C11, if we want to get that, we look at the first row, okay, the first row of our first matrix, which is A, and then the first column of our second matrix, which is B. Okay. Now we multiply the elements together. So we start here with 2 times 1. Okay. 2 times 1. Okay. Now we add Okay, the next elements, so we move to the right for matrix A, so that would be 1. Then we move down for matrix B, so that would be 4. So plus 1 times 4. And that would be our first element of our matrix. Okay. Now, for C12, okay, we see that it's row 1, column 2, right? So that gives you a tip that you want to use still the first row, but you want to use the second column, okay? of B. So first row of A, second column of B. Then you multiply okay, the elements again like we did earlier. So that's 2 times 2. And then the next element, so we move right, then we move down. So that's plus 1 times 3. And then we move on. And again, we repeat the process where our element, C21, okay, gives you a tip that the row is 2. So we want to use the second row for A. And the, row, uh, and the column is 1, so we want to use the first column of B. Okay, then we look at the elements again, so that's 3 times 1, okay, 3 times 1, plus, we move to the right, move down, so that's 1 times 4, plus 1 times 4. And we finish off with our final element, C22. So again, second row, second column. So that gives you a clue that we want the second row of A and the second column of B. And then we take the elements again, so that's 3 times 2, so that's 3 times 2. And then we move to the right, that's 1 times, move down, that's 3, so plus 1 times 3. And then you end up getting 6 plus 3, so that is 9. And so this is our final matrix if you do A times B. And finally, one last thing to note is that multiplication for matrices can't be switched around, okay? So for example, if you do 2 times 5, that would give you 10, right? And if you do 5 times 2, it would also give you 10. But it's not always true for matrices. So if you say A times B gives you this matrix, but you'll see that given these same matrices, if you do B times A, it would actually give you this different matrix. Hopefully, now you understand how to do matrix multiplication.